Confidence. Confidence isn't walking into a room with your nose in the air, thinking you're better than anyone else. It's walking into a room and not having to compare yourself to anyone in the first place. Welcome back to Stogie Geeks episode 344. I am your host, Joe Hozempa. This is the Stogie Geeks News and Sticks of the Week. This is the chance where we all get to tell you what we've been smoking and we get some news commentary. And oh. I am super excited about this segment. Uh, this is the segment that always gets me into trouble with all of the companies. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a good segment that gets us all me all into trouble. For those of you who are just tuning in, watching us at stogiegeeks.com forward slash live, thank you for tuning in. We really appreciate that. Tell your friends about the show. You missed a fabulous interview with Kevin. Uh, always, Never a dull moment. I love talking to Kevin. Kevin's one of those people I love talking to like off air as well because like you know it, it, it's amazing how you you worked on wall street and you purchased a cigar company called rockefeller it just <laughs> it goes hand in hand. And, and he told us on the show he's coming out with a wall street themed stick next year so yes looking forward to yep, that yep and kevin and and i personally get a lot of his sticks confused because i i get the the privilege to see him like at least every other week during his travel cycles, and he always handed me unbanded sticks that are his. They're either test blends or something like that. And um, yeah, so, um, and I'm like, so I, I personally, like, which one's this? Like, did I smell? Like, the one you had, I, I had like a year ago. Oh, so, gold. Yeah. yeah. So, so that's why I was like, hey, man, I dug through my humidor. I was like, oh, we have one. I tried to find two. Sorry, Rick. Right. <laughs> and I tried to find two. We, we, we went next door. They were sold out. And I'm like, you know, I'm like, oh, man, like, you know, like I've had it before. So if we got into a discussion about it, I can you know, talk about it. it. You know what I mean? But super cool. I also got, uh, oh, yeah, Drew, you got some Faltos coming too. So. You know, oh, nice. You got okay. some Faltos. I threw some in there, too. And I have a chance. I only got my hands on one today, the Falto Lancero, which comes out next year. So um, nice. um, yeah. I get to do some evaluation. Always love it when companies send me their test blends and um, ask for critique. Because yeah. if you look at the website, that's like the only writing I do. Well, we, we know uh, we about, know about that stuff. So we know, you, know. you give your opinion. That's for yeah, sure. I, honestly, it's like they're like Joe. Like you need to smoke because you know you you will tell me like you know if what what if it, what it is. That's what I like. Exactly. Yeah, you know I mean so. But anyway, this is the episode. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the segment that always gets me into trouble. Uh, I can't wait to hear Nelson's news. I can't wait to hear Drew sticks. Um, yeah. Drew, I don't even know what you smoked because you you didn't send them to me. So we'll get them up Christoph. on the website. Christoph. You smoked the Kristoff? Vengeance. Well, that's weird because Nelson has a Kristoff too. I love it how we don't Vengeance. do show prep and was, stuff comes yeah. together. Not planned. Uh, man. Uh, not Did you planned. smoke the Vengeance too? No. No. Well. no. no oh, okay. No. Riolo. Uh, yeah, the weak sauce one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice, wow, nice. <laughs> the trading jabs. Uh, all, right. All, right, all, right, all right, all right, cool. Let's do it. I don't know how I feel about this thing. I'm getting used to it. See, in Radioville, I w I would always be like this, right? So it didn't matter, like you know what I mean? Because you're in radio, and I'm always like this. Can't when, when I was in the radio station, I couldn't smoke in studio. You know what I mean? So it's like I was always like this. Like if you look through the window, you'd be like, this kid's freaking ridiculous. The first week, but, I tapped my cigar on the mic. Oh yeah, two or three times. Yeah, yep. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these, but either way, who knows? It's not. It's above my pay grade, so I keep going. So I just do. Uh, <laughs> you better not have any cigar burns. If anybody has cigar burns on the microphone, it's Paul. If not, wasn't it, me. Wasn't me. There you go. Cool. There you go. Uh, Drew, why don't you go first with your Christoph? My Christoph Vengeance. Selection. Oh, oh yeah. So the Christoph Vengeance, y'all. If you all had this stick, you guys are going to love this review because it's it's a very meaty, hearty stick. It's got a lot of rich notes. Uh, it's a medium to full body cigar. I'm going to say it's a full body cigar, and it's it's just going to take you off your off into another land of relaxation. So 
a uh, lot of uh, you know you're gonna get a lot of dark roast. Uh, uh, you're gonna get some spice, uh, creamy, um, uh, a creamy finish, and uh, it's this stick is just phenomenal. Uh, the blend on this stick is gonna be a Connecticut uh, broadleaf uh, with a binder of Indonesian filler Nicaraguan and Dominican uh, Dominican uh, fillers. Uh, so I had the Toro on this one, a 625 by 54. Uh, they also had a Robusto 5 by 50, um, which I have, which I'm saving for a, a short jaunt to South Texas. I'm going to take here uh, soon. But this, uh, I had the Toro, and I'll tell you, this stick from the from the get-go uh, had me um, uh, chasing it. So a pigtail, it's got a nice little pigtail on the end of it. Bit that off, did a cold draw. And immediately on the cold draw, you definitely get that sense of that that spice that's there. Uh, and it's not really overbearing. It's just really, uh, it's it's kind of refreshing, uh, if I may say that. Um, and then once I lit that, once I lit the stogie, it, from there it just started to take its uh, own journey and character. And um, so uh, this cigar, you definitely want to have something to eat. Uh, <laughs> uh, before you before you journey and take get a little couple of crackers down in you and uh, and, uh, and 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 then start that journey for sure. But uh, yeah, you're not you're not going to be disappointed with the vengeance. Um, it is uh, one of my new favorite uh, rotation cigars for sure. Um, I've got uh, a five pack and then well, I bought five. They they were put into a bag, so I call that a five pack. And then I went out and bought another five of the robusto so you know i've got about five six left now so uh great cigar uh, i'm gonna give it a stogie's rating as a box worthy um like i said you can't go wrong with christoph they have a lot of nice offerings in their portfolio um the christoph pissed off was another one i have uh set aside for later on uh this year probably in december to uh to ride up and uh give you all good thoughts on that but uh yeah stogie's rating on that Foxworthy, what do you guys think? Have you had? I have not had that one. I've had other Christophs. Are you serious? Yeah, I've had, I haven't had that one. I've I've reviewed other ones on here, but I have not had that one yet. Yes, I'm serious. You know how many cigars there are in the world? <laughs> you've had, but you've had you've had a lot of cigars. <laughs> He's had the six. <laughs> one of his go-to, which I don't want to turn the story geeks. Listeners into a wild goose chase, but one of his go to is the 685 Woodlawn by Chris. You can get them, they're back oh, in yeah, retail yeah. shops. See, I can't get them. No, no, the, whoa, whoa, you can't get them. They're not in retail no, shops. No, they, they, there was, I, because uh, I'm on lists, right? For to get notifications. Yeah, but there were, do, yeah, do not send a list. They're, they're not on, you have to like call the shop and make sure that they're so. Oh, and definitely. They'll like, go yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. going to go quick. Yeah, but his go to is like a 685 Woodlawn, and I'm like, dude, like, you know, like that's not like a regular. Stick and you haven't even had the vengeance. I haven't had the vengeance. You have to have that over by next week. If you like, if you like spice, I mean that that's what that. Is. Oh it, yeah, it, yeah. Wrapper. Oh man. Yeah. It just really, it really, like I said, it just takes you to a whole nother level of experience in this cigar, and and then you blend that with the Nicaraguan filler and the Dominican filler, and you get a good, nice little Lajero kick in there. Have you had the pissed off? I've had the pissed off, but yep. I'm not ready to do that one yet. I've already had. Which uh, one you like? Uh, I know you know. Uh, you can do a spoiler. Which one you 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 like the vengeance over the pissed off so far, or or are you uh, kind of swaying? I'm I'm still I'm still swaying right now towards vengeance right now. Really? To be honest, wow. with you, yeah. yeah. But the pissed off. I mean, like I said, it's got. I got a couple more of those to get to take down and and really dissect it, and then from there, I think I can come up with. Yep. Something good by the time it's all said and done. So there you go. Cool. Yeah. Let's stay on Christoph because I know you have Christoph. I do, and I was so. gonna suggest that anyways, right? Let's just do back to back. Have you done that before? Back to back brands? I don't dissect the show. I just kinda buckle in. You just do the show. I do I just uh, I I set the same expectations that I do for the listeners. Just buckle your seatbelt and let's go. We just go. Oh, yeah. Well, I had the Christoph Criollo. Um and I did try it because of the 685. Yep. Because I enjoyed that so much, and I'm like, all right, I got to try another Kristoff. So I I try the Criollo. It's a uh, it's not a Pudo. It's a Dominican wrapper binder, but a Dominican Nicaraguan filler. Um, I had the Robusto 5x54. Um, I pulled this off their website. They actually had a, a description of the Kristoff Criollo where they say 
It's made in the spirit of an elite Cuban cigar. The Christoph embodies the taste and richness of a true aficionado uh, that a true aficionado is looking for. With a rich, oily wrapper, pigtail, and uncut foot, the Christoph tastes as good as it looks. Mm. So we'll see if that, mm. that came true. Um, I started this review with a... Uh, it was a medium, nutty cigar throughout the whole thing. It just maintained that nuttiness um, throughout. It had a nice, I got to say, though, it looked really good. A nice, smooth Criollo wrapper. Um, very, very, only minimal veins in it. Also had the pigtail cap, um, like Drew mentioned. I'm not a Neanderthal like him. I didn't bite it off. I actually cut it off with the, <laughs> with the guillotine. So I, I chopped on. off the pigtail with that. Um, I don't know what it is. I like the closed foot. Uh, this was a semi-closed foot, but I like the closed foot cigars. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's just the flame when you light it and you get this giant flame. I don't know what it is, but I just like them. <laughs> so I was kind of stoked for that. I, I really enjoyed it. I know. I'm weird. Whatever. Incendiary. That's okay. Uh, incendiary. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> um, so and right away, that nuttiness hit me. Um, a nice – and it was nice, though. It was not a bad nuttiness. It was, it was a nice – nuttiness with uh, some mild sweetness um, that I really couldn't put my finger on, but there was sweetness with some nuttiness. That's how I'll call it. Um, I got that right off the bat. Uh, as I went into the second third, uh, it did get a little, I got a, some mild pepper with the su sweetness, which was actually kind of nice. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. um, and then the finish kind of dropped off the sweetness and the nuttiness and went into like a leathery, woody flavor towards the end. And I always worry about the the, th the last third of a cigar. Sometimes it can really disappoint you. Uh, it gets a little harsh towards the end. Uh, but this this was good. So it was good. So uh, for this one, I did a, a Stogie Geeks Fiverr. These retail for about 9 bucks. So, you know, try a Fiverr. See if you like it, if it's your thing. Um, I would definitely buy more of these. Hmm. Okay. Cool. That's cool. the Criollo. Uh, you've had Christoph before. I have. Um... I'm a Christoph fan, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, yeah. again, I try just about everything and anything and I'll give it a shot, you know, but uh, Christoph's always a consistent cigar for me. Um, you know, they start off well and they finish really nice. Um, yeah. So I, I, I'm a big Christoph fan. Always have been. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That, that was probably the highlight for me of this stick was the end. I, you know, again, I saw that it was changing. It was, it was leaving that nut, sweet nuttiness and I... I sensed the change. I was, you know, tasting it, and it actually was nice. It was nice, some leathery wood. It was, it was nice. Yeah, Christoph is, um, for me personally, one of those, one of those brands that, with my life and lifestyle, and you know, like, just craziness of job function and all of that, and gotta remember, like, I have the luxury to have a cigar at work, right? Yeah. Christoph is one of those brands for me personally that I can't be distracted when I have it. Right. And I'm in a job function where I can be easily distracted, right? Uh, and you're also smoking cigars. So um, the point of the conversation is that every time, and I had the, 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 the Criollo um, about a week ago. Oh, okay. Because last week when we ran into the Christoph rep, John, I said, man, you know what? And in my exact words, I ran into him over at Churchill's. And I said, man, you know what I had of yours the other time? He's like, what? <laughs> he always rolls his Him and Jared always roll their eyes, right? Because they, 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 they never know what's going to come out of my mouth, right? I'm like, I had the yeah. Criollo, man. I'm like, that's a freaking good smoke. He's like, yeah, man. It's, it's a guy. I'm like, no. I'm like, you don't understand. Like, I had it. And, like, it stopped me. And that and and not all the time, not all the Christophs do stop me, and and that's why I've been on the fence, off again, on and off about them and whatnot. And I'm beginning to think it's it's me, right? Because if I have, and we talked about the vengeance, and I mentioned the pissed off, which I'm a fan of, I'm a fan, super fan of the JT, super fan of the six A five Woodlawn. Matter of fact, one of the reasons why Nelson and I started talking more outside of this show when we began talking was we were at a shop and Nelson said, 
pick me out a cigar in this humidor that you think I'd like. True story. And the very first stick I grabbed for Nelson, this is all pre Stogie Geeks, pre him coming on Stogie Geeks. I picked out the 685 Woodlawn. And I, I challenged said, him. And I says, just let me know what you think. And then I told him the story and blah, blah, blah. And it's one of those brands that, again, you fight for market share. You got to go forward. A cigar shop owner, he or she is giving us the next new stick and whatnot. And Christoph is just one of those brands that didn't have a 100-year head start that's just doing their thing. It was more than that, and, actually. And, and you that, didn't even know I like Perfectos. It right, was like right, right. It, but, whole, it was but, a grand slam. Right, right, right. But 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 it's like it's like you know it's like I'm it, it it's like I'm a fan, but I don't take the time out to to do that. And 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 when I have time, like okay, I'm going to a cigar shop. I'm not going to boot up my computer. I'm not going to have to do this work. I'm not going to do that there. Right. I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna say, you know something? I'm gonna rekindle myself with 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 with, with Christoph. and that is like the that is the truth. Like that is coming from me. Yeah. And for those of you who know me, uh, Rick has seen me in and out of the cigar shop. You've seen me in and out of the cigar shop. You've obviously seen me in and out of Story Geeks and what it's like the environment working here with with Security Weekly and everything. Yep. It's like it's crazy, right? It's cra- it's crazy time. And Christoph is like. I, I'm like, man, why don't I go back to these? And it's because I have a barrage of other sticks that they're either coming on the show or have to smoke or whatever, whatever, whatever. And, and I get, you know, or I stick chase myself and do that there. And it's one of those brands that like, you know, like, and that sticks been in my presence. And, 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 if, and if we're doing to finish the story, how I got that stick, it was part of the clan boy we went to. Oh, that's how you get it. So, like, like right. honestly, like honestly, like you know, you went to a clan boy, you got four sticks, five sticks, whatever was in the package, and it was in, it was in the clan boy I got to, and I'm like, all right, let me. Put it. And I put it in my sleeve, and I've carried it around for a week, and I had it last week because I'm like, okay, let me just sit and chill, and that's what gets exposed to me, and it's like it's and and, and I've done promos with Christoph on Cigar Club Radio. We've done, I think I mentioned it here before. We we did a a, a, a four rounds with 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 Christoph and compared the stick. With with their with 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 other sticks and stuff like that, and Christoph held up very well. I think it was ten weeks or ten sticks at the time they had, or or eight or eight weeks, and they they got like eighty percent of the winners from there. And I had listeners like score it like a boxing card and all that yeah. stuff. So Christoph does well. It's just it's it's always been one of those brands that like like I like I know it sounds like either arrogant or weird or like I just kind of like I don't take the time out to to review their their portfolio yeah personally but, uh, i i think you, you hit on something i don't know if you've talked about on the show i know it since i've been participating we haven't talked about it, but that's a true statement about the experience because there are sticks right there's a reason people say oh this is for golf sure right right, right. this is for mowing the lawn right because there are and i agree with you there i have sticks you know i'll, I'll we're talking christoph so we'll stay on christoph that 685 wood lawn i would never smoke mowing lawn Right. That's a stick. I'm right. going to sit on my front porch. Right. I'm going to enjoy that sucker. No one's distracting me, and I'm just, it's the experience. Yes. Exactly what Joe said. Yep, and, and, and not that Christoph is either hurting for market share or anything like that, but, like, that's what their marketing people need to focus on. Because I really think the average sm- smoker, it, they're like us. We're busy. We're busy, and not all smokes get their... Get their Get their due di- their due diligence. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah, absolutely. And so yeah. that's just my, my my whole thing. And when I smoke the Creole, awesome. Mm-hmm. Smoke the Vengeance, love it. I'm a little bit more towards the pissed off. I don't think you've been exposed to the JT series, Drew, up there or out there. No. Yeah, JT series, like I mean, like spot on. Like I mean, like box worthy all day, right? And mm-hmm. um, yeah, that that's that's my Christoph story. So let's do it. Let's do some news, Nelson. You want some news? Yeah, I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit up straight for this. Oh my god, this guy. <laughs> Drew Nelson has some news. Hey, Does you he know what? News? I gotta talk to Johnny. I want like a nice intro, <laughs> like do 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 news. It's like flashy shit on there. I was just doing that for you. Hey guys, guess what? Nelson has news. 
<laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> News you can use. <laughs> News you can use. One of my favorite movies from the 80s. Rick, are you excited? I'm ready. All right, let's go. I'm Clash ready. of the Titans. I okay. love that movie, right? This has nothing to do with that movie, but that's how I'm going to title this news. <laughs> Clash of the Titans. Padron and Arturo Fuente coming together, working on a project. Super stoked about this. Probably one of the coolest, to me, because I love both brands, one of the coolest announcements of the year. They are teaming up to honor their fathers, right? Each of them. You know, obviously Patron, big popular company. Arturo Fuente, another popular company. Um, so Nicaraguan maker Padron is going to be go, going to be creating a stick dedicated to Carlos Fuente Sr., um, who unfortunately uh, passed away in 2016, but he's obviously been, uh, was the leader of Arturo Fuente. And uh, Arturo Fuente, who makes their sticks in the Dominican Republic, is going to be honoring Jose Orlando Padron, who started the company back in 1964. Also, unfortunately, passed away a year later in 2017. Uh, the sons of these uh, cigar titans are going to be blending cigars for a project where Padron is going to be making a cigar for Arturo Fuente in honor of the, his father. So, uh, and then Carlos Carlito mm -hmm. Jr. is going to be making a stick to honor the Padron Patriarch. Uh, they're going to be coming out with these sticks in 2021. Uh, they're going to announce it at the PCA trade show in Las Vegas. Um, all we know about the sticks right now is that they're going to be 7 by 50 so they're kind of monster sticks. Uh, they're going to be coming out. Um, the no information about wrapper binder filler. There's none of that out there. So right now, all we know is they're seven by fifty coming out in 2021. But I think this is really cool that two giants in the cigar brand industry are coming together and kind of working on a stick for each other. I think that's really really cool. Yep. So just to clarify that for the listener, not not the watcher, the Story Geeks listener, the Padrone crew is building a stick for Arturo Fluente to honor that, their father. That's right. And Arturo Fluente is building a stick with their crew to honor Padron. Padron's father. Gotcha. And rapper buying the filler shouldn't be disclosed uh, because we all know where, <laughs> where they're going to come from, respectively. Okay. All these marketing uh, geniuses, they've had a 125-year-plus head start. So we kind of know what, you know, maybe it might throw a little bit of a curveball with maybe some of the filler, but we could probably guess that there. Okay. All right. I like it. Now we set the tables. Yeah, Look. I'm looking forward to it. I think, I think it's really exciting. I don't know that they've ever done anything like this together before. Um, I think this is a little unprecedented. I think it's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Rick, what do you think? Why don't well, you I'm go a first? Big, I'm a big Padron and Fuente guy, so I'm excited about that. Oh, I like go. the... I like the bigger ring gauge, uh, as JoJo well knows. But although he's trying to convince me to, to do some other stuff, so as you notice, I get, other than the one that's sitting yeah. there, I gave you all smaller you, ring you, gauges. You, you right did, you did, in. and they were they were great cigars. Yeah, but, I'm just saying. But uh, that's that's exciting news, actually. I can't wait to see mm. what they come out with because uh, both brands are outstanding. I mean, I'm a big Fuente guy, and I like my Padrones. But so yeah, that's exciting news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually a good thing. Like you know, like. You say Padron Arturo Fluente, like it, it's like Coca Pepsi, right? Oh, like yeah. so. So but I like them. So, what an analogy. So, so are you? Are you? Which camp are you from? I'm. I'm more. I'm more. Um, I'm more to the Fuente side. Yep. Um, I've always uh, liked the Double Chateau. Yes. You know the mm. the uh, and and oh, yeah. they're great cigars. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I certainly. Uh, like the Padrones, but I'm a big Fuente guy. I always have been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Same here. I'm, I'm yeah. Big Fuente. I'm definitely more Fuente. I'm not as much into Padron as I. I like some Padrones, but I'm definitely a big, yeah. big Fuente guy. Okay. Uh, always have been. The eight five eight Sun Grown Rosado is my favorite. Okay. Uh, Drew. Yeah, no, that I mean, I'm reading about the stick that they're planning to come out with, which is going to be a seven by fifty. So you definitely know that the blending on this particular stick is going to favor like a lot of the 1926 from the Padron side of the family sure. with a lot with some opus i'm for sure like gotta be opus yeah so you know that's gonna happen that's gonna well you know that's gonna happen that's what it's gonna be i mean to have these two uh impeccable sticks uh to have those that blend 
and have it in one stick. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. So um, I'm, I'm going to wait on that one and just see how that how that blending process comes together. Yep. Uh, using their using their most senior blenders to come up with this uh, stick is definitely going to be uh, something um, that everybody's going to be wanting to you know. Uh, be in line for but uh yeah i'm a padron 26 uh 1926 series guy mm -hmm. i like i like i like the stick it's very consistent even throughout the different uh, uh you know generations it's been out so um i've had i've had you know nothing but great things also from the opus um farm as well so right now i'm stuck on the purple rains for sure because I, I, was, I, just, I happened to get a box of those. Who wouldn't so, be? <laughs> yeah, good luck finding those. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I got them. I, I remember last year, Joe. Or I remember. Remember we went, we had a conversation. I'm like, hey, dude, I'm. I sent you a text. Yeah. I said I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a box of purple rains. Like, what do you think? And he was like, if you can get, if you, if you got them, get them. So they're expensive, but yeah, they're damn, damn worth the, uh, 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 the purchase. So. Uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see that, but I I, I, I can see um, the, the blends from the farms really coming together mm -hmm. and uh, to, to produce a very special stick for their two patri uh, patri uh, patriarchs of their family. So. Yeah, a, mm. a last note on the blend. What I think one of the cool things is they're not revealing to each other what no. the blend is. I don't think they should. So that Right, right. I think, I think that's super cool that they're doing that. So You know, yeah. I, I, what drives me... Uh, what drives me crazy, and I'm only going to be, this is probably going to be the shortest answer I have, right? What drives me crazy is, like, when some of the cigar companies that don't have track records give an undisclosed brand, mm -hmm. blend, mm -hmm. but, like, Padron and Arturo Fluente, marketing. No, uh, I didn't get it, it's marketing. Were you whispering to me? <laughs> what? It's marketing. I said it's marketing. Oh wow. Okay. Marketing. But like, see, now I gotta be long winded, right? Oh, so here we, here we go. So you know, with no, integrity. no, like, <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, thank you. I gotta be long winded with integrity. Thank you. Right? Um, <laughs> with you know, integrity. Yeah. Right. So like, you know, you don't need it. Like, like, just think about what we just spent the past five minutes talking about. Like, how super cool is them to yeah. make a stick for each other? Yeah. With the track record. <clears throat> and let me tell you something. Um, other than the Opus X and the Rocky Patel Decade, and I don't want to put them in the same category, but they are in the same category from a retail perspective only in regards to you can only order two and you're on a waiting list for them. I bet you this is going to be a stick in 2021 and 2022 that we've added to the repertoire that people should flock to. Yeah. Right, and so it's gonna it's gonna add to that, and I think that 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 is super cool and honoring the generations. I mean, think about that. Like, what's it like being like Arturo Fluente's son? Oh, the history or oh, or Padron's son, right? And right. and uh, uh, getting back to the camp discussion, I'm a camp Arturo Fluente, except for when it comes without sounding like a pompous ass, <laughs> right? Except when it comes to the Padron 40th. Dude, like, the Padron 40th is on a freaking other planet. Yeah. Like, that cigar is just, like, is, like, on a, it's just, it's just another, it, it, it's, it's its own category. And, you know, I, I am more towards the Alto Fluente portfolio, for sure. Um, always been a part of that, like, Don Carlos series. For those of you story yeah. geeks who who are listening, when you go to a brick and mortar shop and you see the box of Arturo Fluentes and you have a choice of 10, 15 boxes or five boxes, always get the box with the black felt background. Mm. Yeah. Don right. Carlos Personal Reserve, my always. favorite. Yeah. Always uh, bet black and go with the with, with the with the with the with with the box with the black. If you don't know what to choose and whatnot, and the price difference is is there, it's not it's not crazy. But I'm just telling you, like, wow, man, like you go for that, and and I'm such a super fan of right. their portfolio. But when it comes to the Padron 40th, I'm just like, dude, this is like its own. And there's not too many sticks that I'm like shelving on on its own category at all. But it's super cool, so I, I think it's yeah. good. I think it's I think it's good. It's it, it's uh, 
I think there will be a lot of an- anticipation and um, excitement around those sticks. Wonder how it's going to be distributed, of course. Wonder how it's going to be. See, I told you these microphones are in the I way. I know. They're in the Jeez. way. It's just different. Johnny's going to kill just, me. No, it's just different for us. <laughs> it's not going to kill you. Right? <laughs> right? Um, yeah. So what do you think, Rick? I agree with you. I mean, uh, you know, you, you, you can't go wrong um, with, the, with the Fuentes. And um, like, uh, like JoJo's saying, I, you know, when in doubt, Look for the black. The black felt background on the, the black. When yeah. in doubt. Those are the ones. Those That's a great way to put it. I agree with you. No, awesome. There's no two yeah. ways about it. Yeah, cool. All right, cool. I, I, I don't even know how I came across this stick. Um, I had a El, El Nuovo Comenzo, okay? And this was by Paul Stulick. It's a 5x54 Robusto. Mexican San Andreas wrapper, Habano 2000 binder. Obviously, it's undisclosed. Nicaraguan fillers, and it ranks itself as a full-bodied, a medium to full. These were exclusive to the uh, Pravada Cigar Club mm-hmm. and came out. And I didn't get them from the Pravada Cigar Club. I'm in the club. If you need one, let me know. <laughs> so, so you've had one. Uh, if it, yes, I did actually because it came in the club. Yes, it's got the picture. Hold on, I, I got my band. Yeah, here. if you show me the wrapper, I'll These, know if I smoke. This it. is my to do list. This is how I keep my life together, right? Let me see. The, it's that band. Yep. Yeah. Okay. You've had this. Yes. Okay. So, uh. uh I, First of all, <laughs> Joe's speechless I, no, for the first time. No, I'm speechless. Mark that date on the calendar. No, I'm speechless because like these are exclusive for this, and then freaking <laughs> Joe Zempa's doing his work for his advertising agency, right? <laughs> and it's like, here, have these. And by the way, we're selling these. And I'm like, where did you get these? <laughs> like, how did you get these? Uh, if you follow me on social media, you will know where to get those. And um, there's only a few left. And I'm like blown away by the stick. And I became so blown away by the stick that I went back when they were closed. Because I have the keys to that cigar shop too. But <laughs> but I went back to that cigar shop. And I, and I grabbed some. I'll give you the money freaking Monday. Blah, blah, blah. And, 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 and I'm like. Did I, when I first had it, I had it on a Saturday, and I went back on a Sunday, and I'm like, did I like that? Did that, did that taste like that? So I've had it on a Saturday, a Sunday, this Monday, and this Tuesday. I had four sticks in a row, and they are freaking phenomenal. Wow. (laughs) They are like, and, and, and it's something different that you've never smoked before. You are talking full pepper bomb Mexican San Andreas, which Mexican San Andreas is kind of subtle, maybe, right? Maybe, right? Pen in there. You got some Nicaraguan fillers, and it just leaves a taste in your mouth that you're like, holy crap, I want more. And at first, I'm like, okay, maybe it's something I ate in four days in a row. You smoked one four days in a row. I smoked. I smoked the smoked four. Four Saturday, I was exposed to it. Sunday, I broke into it to get it. <laughs> Monday was Columbus Day or Indigenous Peoples Day, whichever camp you're in. It was Columbus Day. Right, I agree, but you know, we're, we're uh, no politics, sex, religion, or Yankees, Red Sox, baseball. Right? It's Columbus Day. <laughs> right? That's true. Okay, all right. And, and then I went back Monday. I'm sorry, Tuesday morning, and I was just to make sure. And it just leaves you wanting something. And I'm like, holy cow. That is my impression of the cigar. That is my cigar review. I have no clue how it became available to my clients, even though it was exclusive. But that's not my business, right? Um, My business is to tell you. Now, I don't want to send story geeks on a wild goose chase. But if you follow me on social media, you'll know where to get it. So there you go. One of the reasons why you might want to follow me on social media 
either at Twitter or Facebook there. Um, and then you had it. And can you give us probably more of an elaborate description or, or is mine? I'm trying to go in now, actually, while we're talking. I'm trying to log into the Provada Club right now uh, because I want to see if I could get you more. Um, but I do remember it being good. I don't, I'm being, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, I yeah. I, I'm not having the same reaction that Joe did to okay. it. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. It's not as memorable to me. Okay. I don't remember hating it. Yep. But, if, but, there's a lot of stuff because I'm in their I'm in two of their subscriptions, mm -hmm. so I'm in their farm. Not this is not a plug for Provada, but I'm in their Farm World, which is unbanded sure. uh, farm to your home, right? And then their regular Provada Club. So I get like seven sticks from them every month, and I, I hadn't really smoked most of them because I'm smoking the other crap that's in my humidor. So I did uh, the band. Actually, it's funny. I, I I don't know if people at home can see that the band is what attracted me. Yep. To it, it's a very unique band. Yep. Um, so, I mean, I do remember smoking it. I remember it was good. I remember I was sitting on my front porch smoking it. Um, but it didn't. It didn't do. It didn't wow you. That's cool. If I had to do it on the fly right now, it's a fiver. Okay. It's cool. a fiver. All right. There you go. There you go. So, fucking. The hell do I know? Anyway, uh, it was pellets. No, Different yeah, pellets. it was. It wasn't. It's mystique. If I had to give it a story, story geeks rating, I mean. I, just because of the rarity of this stick, I'd have to give it a box split. Just because I, oh. uh, no, I yeah. don't, I don't like to send story geeks on a look what I can smoke and gut and you know what I mean. I just don't do that. I never have. That's just me. Uh, when you wanna, that's fair. Challenge my integrity, right? Uh, you know, so it's like, all right, so you know, I would give it a box split. If you can find yourself a, a, a box of these things, box split with a friend or or go for it. Yeah, man, there, there's just. To me, they, they were just su super tasty. There you go. That's that's yeah. my rating. Nice. All right, cool. No, I think I have that. What? I think I have that stick in my uh, humidor because I am also in the Provada Club, and I get the uh, I get both packs. I get the uh, Farm World pack in the. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. He knows. Yeah. So yeah, I got that. I haven't I haven't touched that cigar yet because I just haven't. Well, you like, know you, you know what's tough with the <laughs> Provada Club, right? You, you they've had what in July, off the top of my head. I, I don't I don't follow them, but yeah. like July, August, summertime, whatever, June, whatever. They had like the thousand death buckets, right? Mm -hmm. Then they had the Pier Twenty Eight for Tim Wong, Story Geeks. He's we we just uh, interviewed him uh, yeah. there a couple episodes ago. And then they have this gentleman here, and I'm like, you know, when from when I've been exposed to them, and I'm like, wow, like, and I'm not, and I, and I'm not a member of the club, you know what I mean? Like, I just have options to uh, uh, smoke stuff. You that, acquired it. That 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 that, that, <laughs> that get to me. It's weird, right? But right. um, you know, and and you like you you look at that, like those sticks are all over the map, so you really never know from you from you two perspective and other people who are part of that club you know you never know like what they're really going to send you right that's the no, excitement about I, i'll it. tell you what uh, and it's funny I, I don't know that it's for everybody and it, and drew i mean funny we could talk about unbanded cigars in general but sure um the downside for me for the farm rolled stuff because it, it comes in unbanded you don't know like he gives you you know he gives you some description of the factory some of the sure. notes right the problem I've had is if you really love the cigar, you're done. You got to hunt to figure out what the hell it is. Sometimes yeah. you can. I don't know if you're in the group, <laughs> Drew. They have a group yeah. where everyone talks about, you know, trying to guess well, what the hell the cigar is. Sounds like a yeah. Julia Roberts movie. Well, like, just, blind, let it go, <laughs> just let it go, man. Just, <laughs> just let it go. Yeah. Just let it go. Enjoy that moment of that That's cigar right. and let it go for what it is. It's I all mean, about the moment, you know. <laughs> But then again, you're yeah. talking to someone who walks around with a cigar and it's a black bag. So, but that, no, know. but I actually, all kidding aside, Joe, I, that's where I agree with Joe. For me, it is really about the experience. And someone very wise in this room taught me, because I think he, he, he called me a cigar hoarder at one point. And I was a cigar hoarder. And he told me, you got them, you smoke them. And that's what I do now. So that's why I don't even care if it's unbanded. You hand it to me. If you tell me it's a good stick, I'll smoke it. Whatever. If I can't get it, I can't get it. Whatever. I have plenty of other sticks I could smoke. Yeah. You're I, spot on. That's a gonna be that's a great episode we should probably have with some stogie geeks and we should probably make that happen pretty soon. 
get some story geeks on to find out like if they're cigar hoarders or oh they're out there oh oh oh, oh, oh I'm oh, not alone. I know they're out I'm there. not alone yeah I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm no hoarder trust me if I got them I smoke them yeah, yeah I'm like freaking today I woke up today this, I'm celebrating you know what I mean like yeah absolutely you know and I'm enjoying this stick right here but if you came in with another stick I'd be like okay cool this is done I mean, I'd cut it and light it like yeah I, I, I that's just, what I do I, you know but you know anyway so anyway yeah cool so um. Yeah, I'd give it a box split. Super cool stick. Um, you know, the uh, they're, they're very rare. Exciting to find out what else comes out from this company, too. Up and coming. When we do our predictions of uh, 2021 for Story Geeks, we'll be wrapping that up somewhere in the first couple weeks of December. Um, I called it. This is my num. This is one of my top five. I don't know if we're doing five or ten or whatever. We'll figure that out. But yeah. He's he's in the mix. Cool. All right, uh, Drew, give us a stick. Nelson will give us some moves, uh, uh, some news, and we'll keep this going. All right, let's go. So my, this is my second stick. Uh, again, it's not a, not a boring stick. It's definitely a great stick. Don't be driving. Eat something and uh, relax and enjoy the experience of this cigar. So the LFD double La, uh, La Herald Digger. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. So when you get into that, baby, man, you're you're you're, you're sitting down for a 64-ounce T-bone steak, and you're not moving. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, this, yeah, very nice. Uh, uh, full body, for sure. Uh, uh, Ecuadorian wrapper. Uh, uh, you got the Sumatra leaf, and it's just uh, you know, just the. I can't say enough about the cigar because I've had this cigar uh, probably on and off for the last decade or better, and so every time I come back to it, I just get hooked into it. And next thing I know, I got six of them in my humidor, and, and I'm doing my thing with them. So uh, yeah, it's just one of those cigars again that you've got to be somewhere. You got to be in your relaxed state. Um, the binder, Dominican Republic, the filler. Dominican Republic. It is a full strength, uh, an eight and a half by sixty. So it is going to take you a while to chug this baby down. <laughs> there's no, there's no rush in it, and you might as well go ahead and fill up your lighter because you are going to relight it a couple times because you're going to want to go take a walk break around the yard and uh, come back around and maybe shoot a couple hoops and then come back and <laughs> get back into that stick. So you're, uh, yeah, it's, it's just a, uh, like I said, it, it'll put you on your ass. I mean, you know, it will. Uh, no joke, uh, but it's uh, again great cigar, great flavors, great what you would expect out of the cigar. And I, 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 I put the cigar in a classic facing cigar uh, because it's just really just you know that rich. Uh, it's it's it stayed consistent throughout its inception. Um, I want to say back in the early two thousands, and then from there it just you know it's it's a it's a regular in their portfolio and. It just continues to be a very consistent and delicious stick. So there you have it. And for that, I'm going to give that a box split only because if you got a good buddy you can split this uh, box with, go for it. If if you buy the box yourself, it'll take you a while to get through that box because again, these are eight and a half by sixty, and uh, um, you just can't. You, I, I I wouldn't recommend <laughs> smoking the whole box in one year. But hey. Uh, to each his own. They are a commitment. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're not. It's funny. We've been talking a lot about large cigars yeah, in the last sure. 24 hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Nelson, give us some yeah. news. You want more news? Yeah. We're going to stay with Fuente right now. Rick's about to have something tasty. I can't wait to hear his impression of this. But anyway, go ahead. Joe, uh, Drew, was my intro? Do, 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 do. Uh, <laughs> and now Nelson has news. Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> Breaking last week. Um, speaking of Fuente, uh, they're doing a really, really cool thing. Um, next year, they're going to be coming out with a new cigar called the Rare Pink. Uh, it's a project that they're doing to honor and raise money for the American Cancer Society. Uh, anyone who's been in any cigar groups or social media attached to Fuente has probably seen this week. They have been blowing up um, promoting this. And not to, not to promote this, but to raise money uh, for the American Cancer Society. Um, Liana Fuente, a daughter of Carlito, 
is uh, promoting this. She's been going on a tons of uh, news media and other cigar industry uh, media to promote not just the cigar, but also, again, to, ra to raise money. Um, what we know about the cigar right now is it's going to be an Ecuadorian wrapper with a Nicaraguan filler. That's all they've revealed. We don't have any information about size or Vitola or anything like that. Um, we do know there will be four sizes, though they are going to release four sizes. And it is uh, apparently an extension of the Fuente Hemingway line. So it, okay. it's probably going to be a perfecto of some sort. Mm -hmm. um, so she's been, uh, she's been promoting this. Uh, the Rare Pink should be shipping uh, in November. So it's coming out next month, mid-month. Um, and they're trying to release it on November 18th, which is actually the anniversary of the launch of Opus X uh, mm -hmm. back in 95. So they're, they're mm -hmm. aligning it with that to do uh, a kind of an honor to the launch of Opus X. But mm. this is really, really cool. You know, the rear pink, every, and again, we were just talking about Fuente. Everyone wants like the latest and greatest, whatever it is. Uh, and part of this obviously also raises money for the American Cancer Society. So this is pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah it's a pretty interesting story. I'm definitely, uh, I was just reading it right now as we were talking. Uh, about this news break from last week, <laughs> uh, it is uh, it's this is not going to be a smart production. So they're they're talking about 500 boxes, yeah, uh, each uh, of each size, and it, like you said, four sizes are coming out, um, and so 750 to 12 bucks a cigar just to add to that. Uh, uh, some are Hemingway sizes, and then they have the uh, Lancero Fiorado. Uh, also as a hybrid of a Lancero and Figueroa. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, uh, man, it looks like it's going to be a nice uh, cigar. And it's to uh, tribute their grandmother, uh, Lydia Diaz, um, who lost her battle to a four st uh, stage four breast cancer and uh, their grandmother. So just yeah. wanted to it'll be a, that. It'll be a, 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 a well, a well balanced campaign and, Oh, it's going to be well received, and they'll be rare. And I think it's super cool. I think it's super cool yeah. that they're coming out with that. I, 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 I mean, I'm not going to nitpick about the date, but you know, October is usually. Uh, it, I think it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yeah, yeah it is. and then it's a month late, but then they want to uh, honor the Opus X. I, I don't know if I would shelve it and put it in that category, but. You know, yeah, I see what you're saying. Uh, it, 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 you know, the, when when they're when they're ready and when they want to do it is is their option, and that's super cool. You yeah, know? yeah, but I mean, definitely look for it. Like I said, you you can't miss it if you're following anything related to Fuente. It's out there. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's out yep. there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's been out on social media for for like you said a week or so. So absolutely yeah. cool. Uh, Drew, you don't have another stick, right? You're done. Uh no I I'm, I got the Doom Slayer but I'm not I didn't finish writing that up I was trying ah, to we can we can post that you have another one I have, I have one, one more you have, I'm just trying to get a balance as to what's going on here yeah that's what the host does Doom Slayer. Yeah. you know what I mean that's what a host usually does I'm yeah. waiting for Nick uh Nick Cheap Rick. Crow I'm waiting for Rick, Rick to uh, get a little more deeper and we think this is nice to start out I like it yeah. all right tasty the Quest Array. Uh, Oh, they got the Quest Array. Uh, Quest Array, Array Sun Grown. Central Fino, oh, yeah. Sun Grown. Sun Grown. Uh, yeah, mm. The Pyramid Number no. 9. Mm -hmm. um, it's starting out really nice. And uh, yeah, it's a tasty cigar. I like I it. I'm trying to convert them. Oh, you're, you're doing trying it. Trying to get them off the. I'm trying to get them onto the good stuff, Drew. Well, you know? I was, checking out, I was checking out his ash to see how he's smoking at it. If he's, if he's rushing it he's or got no. nice ash. You're doing it. Johnny, put that camera yeah. Look at God on him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're doing good. good. We're doing good here. Yeah, yeah he's doing nice good. Ash. Yeah, he but, knows yeah, what he's yeah, doing. Nice white Absolutely. Ash. Yeah. Nice I white. mean, even even though he's just 21, I mean, he knows he can navigate through the waters. Well, well you know, that's what I was, I was you know? just making sure. Like I said, I. I'm 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 a promiscuous individual when it comes to cigars. I don't yeah. know about anything else, but yeah. But uh, it's the second you know. time he referred to himself as promiscuous. That's well, when it comes to cigars, <laughs> when it comes to cigars, yeah, my wife wouldn't want to hear me say I'm promiscuous. But, <laughs> but uh, you know, one of the cigars that, and I, I, I had it was the first cigar I smoked today. You know, here anyway, and um, I have this JFR mm -hmm. uh, Nicaraguan, and I didn't come prepared to talk about it too much, but. I'm going to tell you that uh, this is a cigar I, I tried first off at Pitt Churchill's, you know, when he had them in there. And, you know, I look at price, too. You know, um, 
kind of I don't want to say I'm tight when it comes to cigar <laughs> the price, but um, for the price and for um, the consistency, I've had about four of these now, mm-hmm. and I will tell you that um, it's one of the most consistent, you know, nice uh, spicy cigar. Um, doesn't overwhelm you. Um, you know, it's just a, for the money, it's a great cigar. I don't know if any of you have tried it yet, but it's a pigtail, and, um, and I don't bite it off. <laughs> but, um, but no, I, um, I'm That's very Texas impressed. Style. Yeah. True no, an animal. Yeah, I get it. I've done it. <laughs> I've done it when, you know, when, when you have to, you do, but. Right. Well, you're supposed um, to, you're supposed to take that pigtail and just let it sit in your gum between your. And just you know, get a little bit of the nicotine out of that if you if you can. But well, or to remember that flavor, yeah. So that's what that you know that's what that pigtail's uh, there for. And then other people yeah. just cut it off and use these fancy scissors that you all have over there. <laughs> but Drew, yeah, uh, I finally got my fancy scissors. But Drew, I don't know if you've uh, if you've tried the JFR line, but uh, great oh, yeah. great cigar, great cigar. Uh, Joe, where'd you get those scissors? I I will find out next week. <laughs> Well, next week. I had the uh, La Aurora uh, 107 Nicaragua. Ooh. So um, Dominican based La Aurora is throwing its hat into the ring for the first time ever. ever is coming out with a Nicaraguan Puro. And it hit the markets uh, from our market here in the Northeast. Hit the market uh, a week ago. Right, mm. and it's blended by Manuel and Noah. He's obviously the master blender for La Aurora cigars. It has a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper. Binder is from the Jalapa Valley, and it's a mix of filler tobaccos from Condega and Esteli. Oh, and yeah. you know, um, Nelson and I had the opportunity to meet with a customer next door over at the Havana Cigar Club. Who gave his opinion of the stick? And my initial opinion of the stick is that it has a mystique to it, right? And the mystique to it is that here you have a, a well-known Dominican cigar company coming up with a Nicaraguan blend. And I think for a first smoke, it's incredibly balanced. You don't get that Nicaraguan punch that you would normally get from going from Dominican to Nicaraguan, but you get a smooth transition. Hmm. And that is my impression of the stick. Super tasty, wicked tasty, as we say here in the Northeast, probably not wicked tasty, but very well balanced. And for someone who has um, had a remarkable plethora of stick and 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 stick history and changing regions hats off to the blender definitely think that the stoic geeks should probably get in on this action it's the la aurora 107 nicaragua interesting to wait and see maybe three four months as these stick age um i have no personal shot of having any of these age i've had three um so, uh, you know, as they come about and, and there and a couple months later when I try it, but um, very impressed with uh, Manuel Anoa and his crew for putting this together. And my takeaway is exactly what I said. Well-balanced, smooth transition. You don't get a ton of Nicaraguan as classic, quote-unquote, Nicaraguan mm-hmm. flavor, but it's there and is a real slow transition and balance for it. Hmm. So... That's my impression of the stick. Um, obviously, you know, smoke's awesome. I bullet cut it. Uh, I didn't use my fancy scissors, but I but I, but I did bullet cut it. And uh, yeah, it's available in uh, a couple of different sizes, uh, three, and uh, it's it's robusto, which is five by fifty toro, which is a five and three fourths by fifty four, and the grand toro, six by fifty eight. Mm-hmm. I did not have the grand. Toro. I'm, as we know, I'm more of a, you know, 54, 50 ring gauge type of person. So mm-hmm. had those. Didn't disappoint. Um, definitely go out there and uh, seek some. If they don't have them near retail or near you, look up Havana Cigar Club in Warwick, Rhode Island. Give them a call. Tell them you heard that on Stogie Geeks, and I'm sure they will ship them to you. 
If they don't ship them to you, email me at joehistorygeeks.com. I will walk next door and make sure that they ship them to you. Yeah, that Liga and that That's cigar is, <laughs> it's, 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 it's phenomenal. That You get a Liga out of that. Uh, you know, it's a strength. Uh in, in nicotine so yeah uh, yeah and so that you're right that that cigar i've had in robusto i've had that in a, the zeppelins and uh but this cigar here what i like about it being a true uh a puro ni, ni, nica nicaragua is that you're right it doesn't really take that like it's not really oily and it's not really potent and right. killing your and killing your palate at all and i'm not saying that you know you know, it just depends on what you're having with your, with you know, what you've had to drink or eat. But I've enjoyed this uh, with a, a, a nice Anejo uh, tequila sipper, you know, and and you really get that balance, you know, of, of, of just the, the, the notes of floral. And when you when you pair this cigar up with a beverage, um, just like I do with the Kristoff's line, I mean, it's just really brings out that really nice experience and and bringing the two together spirit and cigar yeah and uh you really start to hone in on the on the earth the woods and just the deeper uh and subtle uh uh warm tones so uh, you so you get me when i talk about that slowness mm-hmm. and balance oh yeah and and when you speak to an inexperienced cigar smoker well for a nicaragua it's not that strong well, like, you know what I mean? And I'm like, all right, dude, like, that's cool. You know what I mean? Okay. But, yeah. like, dude, for Manuel Noah to balance that cigar with slowness and transition, like, dude, freaking rock star. Like, that's why he's a master blender. Rock star. Like, you know what I mean? And, and, and again, you know, like, I think a lot of consumers – smoke something because they want it to be whatever it is that they have in the image of what they want it and when they get that expectation uh, or false mm-hmm. expectation because it's not what they wanted it like oh wow this is new from La Aurora so it should be this and it's like oh wow mm-hmm. this is different I don't really like it it's freaking different it's a different country different region different process and it's right. a, it's a it's a chemistry test and he freaking passed it you know what I mean so for you story geeks out there, I'm, I'm encouraging you, you know, when you smoke your cigars and you're chilling and you're doing your thing, like, take your time and enjoy the cigar for what it is, not for what you want it to be. And this cigar, yeah. I mean, it's box worthy, no question. I'm excited to see how it ages. Yeah. That's it. That's all I have to say about that. Nelson has some news and a stick left, right? Yeah, where, where do you want me to go? One news, one stick? One news, one stick? Nice. The news is quick. Nelson has news. Aloha, Stogie Geeks. We are talking about Drew Estate right now in the last piece of the news. So with winter approaching, everyone's thinking about, especially here in the Northeast, Thinking about the sun, missing the sun. So I'm going to take us over to Hawaii. I'm uh, taking us all the way across. Not domestic. We're going right to the islands. Jewish State announced last week they're going to be releasing a new Herrera Esteli cigar that will mm. only be available at Hawaiian retailers. It will only be available there. The new mm. line is called the Hawala Tienda Exclusiva. It's a 4 by 70, uh, 4 and 7 eighths by 46 Petite Corona. Uh, it has a Mexican San Andreas wrapper, and, but the binder and filler are actually undisclosed. We were just talking about this, so they don't, they, they're not disclosing it. But uh, again, this stick is only available at the retailers there. Sure, they're happy to ship uh, for expensive money to the continental U.S., but they're going to be out there. It's available now. It comes uh, in 10-count bundles, so there's no box. It's going to come out in 10-pack 10 bo- uh, 10 bundles, uh, and it is available now. Okay. What do you think, Drew? <laughs> well, you know, it's Drew Estate and their fabulous marketing team of uh, sending these cigars bundled over there, you know, and then wanting us to, you know, go through the online portal, I guess, and uh, buy them. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll wait till somebody sends me that cigar. I got some family up there in, uh, uh, in uh, Hawaii. So, yeah, I'll just call them and just tell them, 
what my Christmas wish list is. But uh, you heard it here. Uh, Email Drew. Yeah. So I don't. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I mean, but I mean, I wonder what what the thought is behind it. I mean, is it because you don't have to put it in the box? It put it in leaf. It's a natural. I mean, I don't just. I'm just trying to figure out why. It, why you just have it to Hawaii? You know? I yeah, I, I was less about the the packaging and more about you know why the hell are you doing it just to one state? Yeah, I just That's I all. didn't get it. It's that thought again. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get some mail from Drew Estate now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute! That's just coming from you. I, I'm I'm patiently awaiting. <laughs> so yeah, um, Joe's innocent yeah, until I, now. It, it, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, it, well, you know, whatever. I mean, if that's what uh, is that if that's the marketing genius behind it. I mean, I guess you know, that's a that's a thing you can do. Uh, you know, it just makes me like feel like, oh, okay, we're not good enough here in the homeland states to get that cigar but hey whatever i'll i'll call you joe grow is that right joe grow joe so, grow yeah i'll call you joe grow <laughs> you know isn't that that brings up a good a good question though like there is a line between limited edition exclusive and just going way off the reservation so you think this is that this action of making it geographically specific is way off the reservation in my opinion as a cigar smoker, yeah, I'm all about limited edition, but like really I can only get it at the retailer in Hawaii. Yeah, I got I kind of got a problem with it. I'm just being honest. Okay. Drew? What do you think, sir? Oh no, I'm going to ask <laughs> He's displacing. I love that. I'm going to ask Rick. Right. Rick, do you have any not particularly. I mean, I want to try to figure out why only Hawaii, but I mean Yeah. Why would you do that? I mean, I just, the logic escapes me to a degree, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, that's exactly it. It's just, doesn't, I don't get it. Joe Hazempa is going to tell us. He's going to tell us for sure. I think that Drew Estate does a phenomenal job with cat and mouse marketing. Yes. Right? And um, episode 341 got me in trouble with baby rattle marketing so maybe here comes a letter for cat and mouse marketing right but it's true and they are really good at promotion right and not for nothing uh, from a participatory state like it's about the chase man if you're the one in your forums and i'm not a forum guy we all know that i apologize i i am members of the forums and Every once in a while, I throw a like up on there, but you know, I'm, I'm not a forum guy. But if you're on the forum and you did your pilgrimage and you got them shipped, you now have can trade or barter or sell or whatever it is that you do in your forum, and they gave you another escalation for you to talk about yet again, true estate. Yeah, and. Right. I'm not going to plug other brands here, but there's other brands that have done something similar to this. Sure. And and Joe knows me. Not only am I a cigar hoarder, but I'm a I can't get it. I'm going to find it type of cigar smoker. And obviously, I'm going to try to chase this down. But I guess that's again, I'm coming at it for, as a consumer. Yeah. I'm all about hard to get. I'm all about limited edition, you know, exclusive releases. But man, like. Hawaii? Well, I'm not. That's, I'm not. I'm true. not a stick chaser. That's I can't even drive uh, there. I've never been. That's <laughs> crazy. Let me. Uh, let I me. Think. Let me share. Let me share what I just found online. So, I just went online and looked it up. And so Willie Herrera added that he goes. I guess he makes a trip down to Hawaii every year, a journey, uh, to find peace and inspirate inspiration, yeah. uh, to watch the sun rise atop of uh, Halakilea Creator, uh, made above the made me create a bolder blend in size. So I, you know, so I'm just kind of reading a little bit just to see what that is. I mean, it's a homage to Hawaii and to this, to this, uh, uh, creator. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, but behind that also is, you know, why not share it with the rest of the United States and, you know, but like, you know, whatever. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's, people it's, will uh, buy it. 
Of course yeah, they're gonna buy it. it. They're gonna. Oh, oh, yeah. I mean, enough for nothing. Let's let's put this all in perspective. If you're a big retailer and you have a Drew event, there might be a couple of those floating around. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? So it's like, whatever, dude. Like, do what you got to do. You're, you're freaking Drew Estate. Just, 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 just. Yeah, do, fun. D- d- you know, do you, and yeah. and that's that. And, yeah. and, and listen, not questioning their marketing. Know, I'm not like, oh my God, I am banning Drew Estate because they don't want to no, include no, no. this. That's and why that. I keep repeating. And, and, I'm coming and, at it from know, a consumer if, if, perspective. If they, if they were, you know, and they were like, you know, and, and these things happen, these things happen. I mean, Story Geeks has. A certain transparency to it, right? Mm-hmm. That um, you guys come here weekly and participate in, right? And yep. the the content that we come up with that's different from from other selection of shows is that you know we're, we're this is how boardrooms act, right? Mm-hmm. Like, hey, you know, I go to Hawaii, I want to pay hog, uh, uh, homage. homage. Homage, homage to this. Homage. I'm the roller. Let's come with this. And they're like, yeah, man, let's do it. Like, it's super cool. And, and you know something? And at the end of the day, it gets us talking about it. You right. know what I mean? And well, then, and and uh, who knows if the plan's going to be good? Who knows uh, what the market share is over there? Right? Maybe right. maybe the market share from a business perspective to support Drew Estate is like, you know, Hawaii does X amount. We have X amount of tobacco to make this exclusive blend. Let's do it. And and at the end of the day, every podcast is going to be talking about us because you know why? We're on the media list of other other vendors, and when they give us the news, yeah, right. because you right. came here when, and when, caught the news. When when they, when they, when they when they give us the news, and it's like, all right, cool. Like at the end of the day, we're all going to talk about it, and everybody's going to have their various different opinions and all of that stuff. But at the end of the day, you're talking about Drew. And, you you can't question the, the the marketing play. You can't. I mean, it's it's a good play, it, absolutely. But well, I mean, it's and it has. You know me. I love the backstories. But all right? marketing, well, as a stogie geek, you you want to understand. You want you want the marketing aspect of it. You want the the journey of it to figure out the journey and 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 have us participate in their journey. They want to take us on, and some of us are chasers. And some story geeks are going to email me with pictures and say, I have it, and I got it. And others are going to be like, they might be from my camp, like, hey, man, and I'll never smoke it. That's cool. Like, and, and to your yeah. point, and to your point, they're accomplishing exactly what I think you're saying they want you to do. You're having right. that boardroom discussion right now. Right. We're talking right. about it. You're, right. you're, you're discussing it, and the varying viewpoints are there. But the point is, is that... They've got you talking about it. That's exactly right. And that's <laughs> where, that's the genius of it. That, that, that that's is. That's the is. genius of that it. That is. And I never looked at it into that when I said, why Hawaii? But then when you mentioned that, I thought to myself, uh, you know, I've been well, in some of these discussions in the past. It's a talking point. And it's, it's oh, absolutely definitely. a talking point. Yep. Absolutely. Hawala Tienda Exclusiva. <clears throat> Email me if you got one. Yeah, and because Nelson's a stick chaser, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, man, if I get one, I get one. If I don't get one, I don't get one." Like, oh yeah, I will chase it. You know I mean? Well, when you I, get one, let me, let me know. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, whatever, dude. Like, you know, I, I I don't know. I'm not. I've never been that. No, I know. I'm a hoarder that, and a chaser. I, I, that 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 type of person, you know, never been that 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 type of person. Uh, it's just it's what it is. It's just it's just uh, you know. It, it, I think I, Rick Rick brings up and backs up a valid point we're we're talking about it other podcasts will talk about it other podcasts when they interview uh you know crew yep and they'll they'll talk about it and and they'll and they'll tell their story and at the end of the day they got all this exposure and mm-hmm. and you know and and there are some drew estate customers who have to have it and they will find right. it. They will. They will find it, and they will get it, and they will save it, and probably never smoke it <laughs> for for a couple of years. <laughs> and then there you go. I mean, you know, if I, I, I'm I'm gonna place a call to uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter, and I'm gonna ask him to send me uh, some sticks over to Story Geeks. And if he does, then that's cool. I'll have one. And if not, then. You know, maybe one will come across my desk. I've got somebody in Hawaii, you know. 
I may just have to let's do it. See, it's Be already chill. starting. Do it's it. It's already yeah. starting. Do, do it. it. Here, Here we, we go. Do it. Get in the honestly, I, honestly, what's gonna kill you or kill us or kill any consumer is the freaking shipping. It's the shipping. Absolutely. Right. It's the shipping. Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? And you know, yeah. and at the end of the day to say I have it, I mean, that's cool. Yeah. It depends the type of person you are. I don't know. But it's one way to build fan loyalty. And there's one thing that I can say, and I've said it here many, many times. Uh, Drew Estate is phenomenal at building fan loyalty. Oh, yeah. And building oh, yeah. and building a experience and right. building a culture. And whether you agree with their culture, like the culture, whichever, whichever, can't be wrong. But at the end of the day, you that's what it's about, man. They, yeah. they and, and and they do it well. Whether you well, like this, at, well, they do it well. Well, they they put their cigar in LeBron James's hand. I mean, you know, or one of his people did. Okay, so, the show's about yeah. to end. <laughs> That's nice. Hey, yeah, actually, they, they we were looking at this my, four different about my Lakers. My as a Celtics fan, Lakers. that's not telling me much. Four different <laughs> Drew Estate cigars were smoked <laughs> by the Lakers at the uh, championship. There uh, you go. There you go. I, I I'm not giving that. Uh, another, any more time. Any more time. <laughs> any more time. So, with that being said, Drew, thank you for joining us. All right. It's thank been you a guys. privilege and an honor. Rick, awesome. Drew, thank you. outstanding. It's nice to meet you. Hopefully, we'll do nice this again. You. We're going to do this again. There you go. Oh, yeah. Rick, thank you for coming in the studio. I'm My glad pleasure. You finally we're going to we're going to do this again. All right. Awesome. Awesome. I sounds, love it. I had a blast. Good. Yeah. Next time you. Would, Right, uh, I'm gonna come. Sticks together. I'm gonna come more prepared next time. Well, now know. that I know, I'm gonna come more prepared. Well, you know, it's all good. It's fine. It was, it was a privilege and an we, honor. We broke the ice. Yeah, it was a privilege and, and an honor to have you here. You popped so, your cherry. Uh, you Absolutely. guys, are, you guys are good friends. Absolutely. Nelson uh, is gonna task us next week with some more news. Can't wait for that. Uh, for sure. <laughs> this guy. I can't wait. I can't this guy wait. Ever stop breaking balls? I, I can't. I can't wait. You know what? For the, for you the know what I'm gonna do? What? What? I'm gonna. I'm gonna have a weather segment. <laughs> no. Yeah, you you always have a. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. True. <laughs> true. You always have a weather segment. Hey, it's yeah. true. I'm here in Texas. It's 74. It's 70, yeah, beautiful. 70 you always degrees. give us a freaking temperature, Drew. <laughs> Drew. Drew. You are the king of uh, the temperature. And I say, Drew, do you have a question? No. <laughs> By the way, I have a question. <laughs> yes, and you are the king of headroom when it comes to uh, shots in the camera. But you know, I right, know. Trying to. Well, one day I'll take. I'll get a tutorial. But uh, yeah, I think next. I think next month we're gonna have a surprise for the Snowy Geeks listeners. Next week. Yeah. Oh, oh no, next month. Next month. Next month. Oh yeah. Okay. Cool. Someone's like. gonna make a trip to Rhode Island. Oh, oh. here we go! What? Woo-hoo. Oh boy! Yeah, Johnny's that never gonna have a great. time off <laughs> <laughs> on that one. Freaking Johnny's just like, oh crap! That's uh, we're going. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys will be. This will be the shortest story you can have. Okay, Johnny and Drew are going disc golf, and we're out. <laughs> Two fifteen-minute segments. That's it. Me and Drew are disconnected. <laughs> Two fifteen-minute oh, segments, oh, and then you're out. Oh, there you go. <laughs> So, yeah, so, uh, awesome. Nelson, thank you for your news commentary. Yes, <laughs> thank you. And your sticks of the week. <laughs> hey, thanks for letting me sit in this seat. I appreciate it. Yep. Story Geeks, if you want the show notes, you go to storygeeks.com forward slash 344. You can catch all of that. Remember, we keep the conversation going all week long. You go to storygeeks.com. You can find us on facebook.com forward slash storygeeks. Email all of your complaints to drew at storygeeks.com. Uh, I want to remind you that behind every cigar, there is a story worth knowing. Get out there. Shop your local brick and mortars if you can. Everyone be safe. Be happy. Wear a mask. Enjoy. We'll see you next time. Peace.